The Kitzbühel Alps are one of the most popular places to ski in the world. More and more winter sports enthusiasts are choosing to ski or snowboard down runs into the valley here that are off the designated pistes. Austrian Martin Winkler has been skiing off piste since he was a boy. Today he's a star of the free riding scene. Out in the open, you can do whatever you want. That's quite rare in our society and probably why it's so fascinating. You're your own boss. The rules are written by nature, but that's it. Martin Winkler passes on his passion and knowledge when he holds workshops during the free ride weeks. At the moment, he's working with a number of veteran free riders. He shows them how to find the safest and most scenic line or route through the terrain, while ensuring the skiers take care not to disturb the animals or damage young trees along the way. Even for advanced free riders, there's always something new to discover. It's unbelievably big. You have so many possibilities and different summits, which can be accessed perfectly with the cable cars, and there are always new routes and possibilities. You stop and look around to see where the next opportunities are. Best is from the opposite slope. You pick a point where you can come back together. Then you decide to go on, and the feeling of belonging to the group is great. For Winkler, the most important thing is that the participants respect the mountains. The snow is never completely predictable, even for professionals, so everyone needs to be constantly aware of the danger of avalanche. You can't remove the risk, so we always need emergency equipment with us. Part of the basic equipment is an electronic device that helps find skiers trapped after an avalanche. Before they're shoveled out, this avalanche probe is used to determine the victim's precise position. An inflatable rucksack that helps you stay above the snow during an avalanche is a vital piece of equipment. Kitzbühel only established itself as a free rider area in recent years. The free ride week, set up by Austrians Matthias Meyer and Matthias Haunholder, entice people here from all over the world. Free riders now make up 30% of the winter guests here. The extensive area offers a lot of possibilities for free riding. It's not just sloping meadows for beginners, but stuff for professionals too. By going with this trend, we naturally appeal to a younger age group that we wouldn't otherwise have had in Kitzbühel. After winning numerous international freestyle competitions as a youngster, Martin Winkler began concentrating more on filmmaking in 2006. It's important for his sponsors. To get images, he travels to all corners of the globe, including to the mountains of Alaska or to the Argentinian volcanoes. It's a documentary about a freewheeling life. You don't influence the story, but shoot cinematically, using beautiful angles and shots. Martin Winkler is also a juror for the film competition held during free ride weeks. The entries are mainly about the most exciting free rides rather than aesthetics. Fabian Lynch was selected the latest champion for his spectacular ride between the trees. At the top I had my doubts. I stood there and considered whether I should do it or not, but then I thought it'll be fine. As soon as you start, you don't think anymore, you're completely focused. That's the beautiful thing about skiing and free riding. Just skiing and staying healthy and enjoying life. Every evening the free riders celebrate arriving safely in the valley again. The parties are an important part of the program. Martin Winkler sometimes takes to the stage himself. On evenings like this, you can quite easily see that free riding is more an approach to life than a type of sport. The attraction of trying something new and expressing yourself, whether on the mountain or interpreting a piece of music in a new way, it's all about being creative. Creativity, being close to nature and the feeling of freedom all contribute to people's growing fascination with free riding.